I'll kick things off here with the first of two looks that I'll be showing you guys. So I am a firm believer, especially on New Year's Eve, that you can make the occasion whatever you want it to be. You don't have to dress up, but if you're feeling it, by all means do so. Personally, I always like to do something elegant for New Year's Eve, and that's what this look is all about. Starting things off with the undisputed centerpiece here, my burgundy dinner jacket from our upcoming collection with Michael Andrews. Beautiful VBC fabric with a satin shawl lapel. Super classic, sophisticated, and fun at the same time. Underneath, also from the collection, we have a dinner shirt with three quarter inch pleats. Bow tie is velvet, perfect option for New Year's Eve. This one is by Le Nou Papillon. Cummerbund and tuxedo trousers are both by Polo Ralph Lauren. And then finishing things off with the perfect velvet slippers for New Year's Eve. These are by Stubbs and Wooten. Hi guys, I'm Stephen Elliott, managing editor here at He Spoke Style. Obviously, lots of different ways to approach dressing for New Year's Eve. For my first look, it's all about keeping it elegant and casually sophisticated. Here, I'm wearing a six-button double-breasted suit from Club Monaco. I love the subtle herringbone pattern in the fabric. The jacket is unlined and also has patch pockets, which give it a more casual overall feel. Underneath, I paired it with a cream merino wool turtleneck from Uniqlo. Turtlenecks are a great way to sort of take a little bit of a formality out of a double-breasted suit and also project this kind of stylish ease and casual sophistication. On my wrist, just a very simple dress watch. And then finally, finished off with a classic pair of tassel loafers. These are the Deerfield by Johnson & Murphy. Hello everyone, I'm Corey Sylvester, Chief Operating Officer and Partner at Michael Andrews Bespoke. I like to think of my style as something of a rockabilly version of Ralph Lauren. Basically, I like the idea of combining elegant and casual elements, and for me, New Year's Eve is a great time to do just that. For my first look here, I'm wearing a dinner jacket from Michael Andrews Bespoke made with Dormé Tonic cloth. Absolutely legendary cloth in terms of formal wear. Instead of the matching trousers, I went with my trusty jeans, also bespoke, which is a very Ralph move, some might say. Here, with the raw hem of the jeans and the pointed toe of the boots, I tried to take part of Ralph's iconic style and make it my own. Speaking of the boots, they're from Heritage Boot Co. in Austin, Texas. And on my wrist is a vintage Cartier tank, given to me by my wife on our wedding day. A great everyday watch that's perfect for a look like this. All right, so my second look is admittedly not that quote unquote festive, but again, as Steven said, there are lots of different approaches to dressing for New Year's Eve. This is definitely an evening look and it's all about elegant sophistication and casual confidence. Both those things are really easy to capture when you keep things simple. Now the suit I'm wearing, a medium gray flannel, is an absolute must have for your winter wardrobe. This is another piece in our collection with Michael Andrews. Very classic styling here with notch lapel and two flat pockets, super versatile. Underneath, a simple black merino wool turtleneck from Uniqlo. I've tucked it into the trousers here to both show off the pleats and for a little sartorial touch. You'll notice that I'm not wearing a pocket square, totally intentional and meant to sort of double down on the minimalist approach to this look. Decided to add a little bit of intensity here with the glasses. They are by Persol. Now speaking of intense on the wrist, we have a pretty intense watch, the Datagraph by Alanga Nzuna, and then simple and classic Black Oxfords by Cole Haan to finish things off. So my second look is for everyone who doesn't intend to leave the house to ring in the new year, but still wants to do it in style. Throwing a New Year's Eve party can be stressful, so keeping your outfit simple and laid back is always a good idea. Here I'm keeping it seasonal and festive with a casual plaid button-down shirt. It's by Land's End. And then over that, I've got a green merino wool cardigan, which is a great cozy, casual, and stylish substitute for a blazer. The one I'm wearing is by Uniqlo. I'm pairing those items with some dark gray flannel trousers, a winter staple if there ever was one. Now, you can definitely go a little more casual and swap out the gray flannel for a pair of corduroys or dark denim, but for New Year's Eve at home, I like the casual elegance of the flannel. And then I'm anchoring the look with a classic penny loafer from G.H. Bass. My second look here is all about making a monolithic statement. Honestly, I feel my best in all black. For me, nothing says more without saying anything at all than walking into a room in a sharply tailored all black ensemble. When wearing tonal looks like this, I like to play around with different textures and accessories. 
My jacket is made with a black velvet from Harrison. Underneath, I'm wearing a sample from our upcoming custom knitwear collection with a vintage Celine scarf that I picked up on a recent trip to Paris. My trousers are made from black corduroy, also by Ariston, and I mention Ariston again simply because I find their cloth to be absolutely exceptional and extremely comfortable. And you know, if your clothes aren't comfortable, then what's the point? Finally, a badass pair of Python zipper boots by Saint Laurent. These are my 30th birthday present to myself and not a bad way to leave my 20s behind.